With rarely seen vehicles, cool rides and rocket-fast sports cars, the Peterson Automotive Museum's latest exhibition looks at the evolution of the Porsche. Split between the museum's first-floor Mullen Grand Salon and its basement vault, the Porsche Effect, which coincides with the 70-year anniversary of the brand, opens Feb. 3 and runs through January 27, 2019. The exhibition is made up of dozens of cars, historical documents and artifacts that trace the evolution of the cars not just as road and race vehicles, but also as works of kinetic art. The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with a selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Schinkth Porsche Golf 917 Kat, The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with a selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing, The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with a selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shink 1979 Porsche 935 K3 at The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with a selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing, The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with a selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing, The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with a selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing, a Porsche design chair on display at The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with a selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing, The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with a selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shink Clean Dash Lines of a Porsche Speedster at The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with a selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing, a 1951 Porsche 356 Roadster at The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with a selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing, The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with a selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing, Risky Business. Porsche 928 at The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with a selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. 
Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing, The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with this selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing, The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with this selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shink the unmistakable fender of a vintage Porsche at The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with this selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing, The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with this selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing Steve McQueen's 1958 Porsche 356A 1600 Super Speedster on display at The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with this selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing a modified Porsche 356 at The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with this selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing a very rare 1938 Berlin Rome Type 64 race car at the Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with this selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing Steve McQueen's 1958 Porsche 356A 1600 Super Speedster on display at The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with this selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing a 928 prototype station wagon built by Porsche on display at The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with this selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shink the tail end of a 1967 Porsche 910 race car at The Porsche Effect, a display that focuses on the impact of the German car from a cultural and design perspective with this selection of sports and race cars along with renderings and engines opens at the Peterson Automotive Museum on Feb. 3. It is also the car manufacturer's 70th anniversary. Photo by David Crane, Los Angeles Daily News Shing. This exhibit is about how Porsche has managed to create this timeless silhouette, this memorable appeal that's created such a large fan base, said Brittany Kinch, the exhibition's co-curator. All of the cars in the exhibition would turn heads on the street, but here are a few in the collection that will really turn your head at the museum. The one that shaped the future the car 1939 Type 6460K10 Only three of these cars were built to compete in the 1939 Berlin Rome Endurance Race, but World War II put a stop to that event. It has this amazing body that's the predecessor of all Porsches that are on the road today. If you look at this car it is a study in aerodynamic design. Obviously it's a gorgeous car, Kinch said. First family Porsche the car 1987-928H50 regarded as an early precursor the Porsche Panamera, this 310 horsepower burgundy egg-shaped concept car looks like a wagon on steroids with its four doors and big rear windows for the kids to see the road fly by at top speeds of 160 miles per hour. 
the one with Hollywood called the car 1958 356A 1600 Super Speedster this load of ground black convertible with a black top and white steering wheel already looks cool enough on the display platform. But it becomes even cooler when you find out that it was owned by the king of cool, actor Steve McQueen. The actor and avid racer bought the car and raced it at Willow Springs and Laguna Seca. That's another example of Hollywood really adopting Porsche as a symbol of status and sex appeal, Kinch said. The Porsche effect opens February 3rd at the Peterson Museum on Los Angeles featuring rare and significant car as Porsche celebrates its 70th anniversary. Pick.twitter.com 243v8 Jack David Crane at Vidcrea February 1, 2018 The rare siblings the cars 1997-911GT1 and its street-legal younger brother the 1998-911GT1 Strassen version It's not often that these two road rockets are seen side by side. The race version is a 600-horsepower beast that can reach speeds of up to 206 miles per hour. Only nine were ever built and at 544 horsepower, with a top speed of 194 miles per hour, the street version of this race car wouldn't be left far behind on the track. The street version includes a softer suspension, more ground clearance and, according to the plaque at the exhibition, a more civilized interior. It's probably a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for most people outside the factory or who have never been to the Porsche Museum to see them together, Kinch said. The movie starred the car 1979-928. Tom Cruise was a very bad boy in the 1983 comedy, Risky Business. When his overbearing parents took off for the weekend he raided the liquor cabinet, danced around in his skivvies and took his dad's silver Porsche 928, which ultimately ended up taking a dive into Lake Michigan. One of the four cars used in the film that didn't end up in the water is on display in the basement as part of the exhibition. And the keys are in the ignition. But don't even think about it. The Porsche effect when Feb. 3 January 27, 2019. Museum hours at 10 a.m. 6 p.m. daily. Ware Peterson Automotive Museum, 6060 Wilshire Boulevard, Los Angeles admission $16 for adults, $13 for seniors and students, $8 for children ages 312. Vault tours are an additional $20. Children younger than 10 are not allowed on vault tours. Information 3,239,302,277, www.peterson.org.